Hello everyone, today we are gonna attempt to create a new monster from scratch. As always, I'm gonna show you the um, details about the files and so on to avoid crashes and unnecessary bugs in this game. So with that said, let's get started. First thing you're gonna need is skills, a monster 2, a regular monster, a levels, and we'll need an optional missiles file. And also, we are gonna use a TBL editor software as well. So, a few words about skills. This is where you can add or modify the spells, auras, buffs, passives, etc. Creating new synergies as well, giving some damage skill too, and mana cost as well. Uh, this is where you need to put the skill to a monster. Next, we have the essential files of the monsters. So it's been split up to monsters and monsters 2, or MS and MS2 in short. Uh, in these files, here you can create your own monsters from scratch, and also modify it in look as well. So let's start with uh, monsters 2. So monsters 2 is basically here you can modify and. Um, and remove animations as well. So this is a really important if you are creating a new monster which has a unique look. And so um, yeah, this is where you need to allow to use those animations as well. So let's scroll uh, right a little bit. Um, this is where you need to put those uh, animations. And so here we have those columns. This is uh, how you can add a colorized aura to monsters. So basically if the area is really dark or you can't see anything, then this is a good way to add some lights to them. All right, on to the monsters or MS. It's quite a big file, I must say, but it's pretty simple, I think, to handle them. So starting off, here we have the min group and max group. This is how you can modify the uh, group amount of the monster. And here you can see the velocity or run. The rarity, this um, handles the spawn chance of the mob. Uh, the levels as well. And um, this is the scale slots to the monster. It basically uh, depends on the AI, which skills you can use and insert them as well. Here we have the Drain, Knife and Hell. This handles the Lich resistance. If it's 100%, you can Lich him, normal rate. But if it's 0, then it's immune to Lich effect. Next up here you have Cold effect. This is handles the freeze resistance of the monster. If it's in minus, you can freeze him. Or if it's zero, then it's immune. Here we have the resist as well. Um, damage region allows the monster to get healed over time. Here we have block chance. Normal nightmare hell as well. Here we have HP, armor, XP, attack rating, damage, and so on. And also here we have the treasure class rose. This is uh, where you can. Uh, manipulate your monster's drop rate, basically. And so, yep, here we go. On to the next one, here we have the levels. So, uh, only a few rules needed to modify here. But I'll show you a little bit later here. And so, uh, which rules you need to modify are the Mon 1 uh, up to unique uh, monster free. Uh, you can see here we have three monsters. This basically which uh, monster is gonna be spawned in that area. So and the last but not least here we have the missiles. But I think missiles is not necessary because uh, in this video I'm gonna only making a melee monster, but also I'm gonna make later a ranged character. And so this is which uh, you can add some projectiles in. Alright, so let's get started, uh, starting in the monsters. So, what I was thinking about is uh, we need to search for Bear Minion, because uh, that's currently my favorite monster I look. 
Don't ask me why. So I was trying to searching for the uh, bear minion. It cannot be found. But why? The reason is because uh, if it's above on the list for the searching stuff you need, it will not be red. But if you scroll upwards, then it can be found. And here you go, bear minion 1, 2 and 3. And so if I try to search below bear minions, then it's not gonna work. So that's why you should always search at the top. That's the most efficient way. So uh, we need to copy one bear minion, one of course. And we are gonna copy and paste it into a new row below. Of course it's below. And so here um, we need to edit the name of the monster. Uh, ID. This is basically uh, identifies the monster. So this is a entry column again, as I mentioned in the previous video as well, because entry files needs to be the same as it's present in this file. And so here, the current bare menu one in the ID column cannot be the same because there is one above. So we need to rename it to something else. So like bear minion custom. And so um, it cannot be uh, confused with the same monster name. Next up we have the ACLDX. It's a hard coded uh, next number sequential row uh, column. This is um, really important. And it can cause some problems as well, and bugs alike. Uh, you need to add up the next sequential number, and so this chain cannot be broken yet again. If you add the same number, it can cause some strange bugs. Next up here we have the base ID. Uh, base ID is um, it's also a hardcore stuff. It basically lets your monster to spawn things like future defilers, shamans, and so on. If it's not there, it's not gonna spawn, you know? And that's why. And so, in our case, bear minion is just a regular mini monster, so it means it cannot be affected by that. But, uh, you should note that if there is a base ID name, which is not present in the ID above the list, um, and there is the name in the base ID which is not present in the list, then it's gonna cause a crash. And to avoid that is always um, write that ID name in the first column into base ID. So in this case, if I would leave this like bear menu 1, it's still fine because it's above, because it exists above the list. But if I would be writing bear menu 4, it's not gonna work at all. This will cause a crash. And so instead, there are a few acceptable things. You either type bear minion 1 or bear minion custom. Or anything, but you should give an existing one. That's the point. And also, uh, base ID can give you some animated death. Animated death, I mean, is like um, the Doom Knight fiery effect or the Mega Demons fire effect, uh, the Frozen Creepers frosty shredding stuff or shattering stuff this is uh what they do upon death and for example if i would put mega demon here then you will see some fiery particles upon death all right uh here we have next in class next in class is it's also a hard quality one it depends on the maps but in this case it's not gonna affect our monster because this uh, monster is not map dependent, like the fallen in the camps. So yeah, there is nothing to put there. Next up here you have the trans level. This is a really fun switch, I think. But the problem here is not every monster can be uh, colorized in that thing. So uh, there is a great example about the fallen. So you know fallen have five color variations to red until um or up to uh, purple. And so uh, they are marked as 0 to 4, because that's 5. If you would put uh, 4, for example, that's gonna be the purple one, the warped ones. So that's what it is. 
Next stream uh, name string is the next one. This is where you need to put your uh, table entry. So as again in the previous series, if you um, misspell the name, then it's gonna cause you to see the uh, the error error on the uh, HP bar. So let's name him to Word Destroyer. This should be the same to avoid the bugs, of course. Let's adopt the key here, Word Destroyer. Also, copy and paste is the safest way to write things stuff here. And so here we have Word Destroyer. We're saving this. And so we are done with it. It's gonna be read as Word Destroyer. Monstat X is basically read from the Monstats 2. So it should be the same, or you can add up uh, a new rotem. It's not gonna hurt the game at all. But the problem, it should uh, contain only the Bell Minions row. So all we need to do again is to type Bell Minion. Not meaning, of course, I fucked up again. So Bell Minion. And then here we are Bell Minion 1. We need to copy this soon. If only if you want some special effects to the monster. So let's say we want to give him some uh, aura. Aura, I mean customized, colorized aura. So let's say we should give a light of 10. This will give him 10 yards of light, as far as I can know. Or uh, subtitles. Subtitle, subtitle, I'm sorry. So 10 subtitles of light aura, this is what's gonna give him. So moon type is basically what classification the monster gets. Because he's a demon, so he gets demon. AI is Beaminium, because he is a melee monster. Here we have the desk string as for description string. This is where you can basically add a description to the monster. So, for example, drains life or seals life, drains mana, lays eggs, and so on. So, basically, we can give him a string here. So, let's say we should give him a stun, for example. Because this monster stuns, you know, because he's using smite. And so, we're gonna put this string into table editor and let's say stuns. So, in the description, it's gonna be said um, Demon stuns. That's it. Alright. Uh, one thing here is enable should be on one. Because this will handle the monsters uh, spawning. If it's zero, it's not gonna spawn. Group is what I said. Let's say it's one one. So, only one monster will spawn at the place. Movement speed should be 8, that's quite decent I think. Level should be 1, because this is how it scales up the life, damage, attack rating, and so on. Rarity also should be 1, at least 0 is not recommended because it's not gonna also spawn, it will prevent him from spawning. Um, okay, this is, these lines are the AI parameters, this basically handles the um, AI's hit delay for example. And the uh, using the skill on chance. So the next stop here we have the is pawn. This is also the same as rarity or enabled. This will align to spawn. Okay, um, next stop is um, killable. So this monster is killable. So this should be one. If it's zero, then I think it's it gets. Uh, untargetable, but I don't know. Um, here we have the skills. Uh, minion only uses um, smite. And so, um, this will have a chance to use smite on mill attack. Okay, uh, so the rest, I think it's okay. Uh, the mana, uh, not the mana, the HP is, should be left the same because we are gonna use our custom skill. And also the drop rate or the drop filter should be the same. Okay, so we are done. Let's move on to the levels. And in the levels, we are gonna edit the spawnable monsters to the area. So we are gonna remove them. And let's say, not let's say, we just gonna copy 
the bear minion custom and there you go and that should be one as well in the number monster column all right so let's hop into the game created a new character as well of course it's gonna be a barbarian because why not so we are gonna use our unique item as well what we have created from the previous one in case if you have missed it it's a diablo noah so it's pretty fun all right so here we are in the blood moor and um, there's a big problem why the heck we have uh burning souls so it's uh it was on purpose because i knew about this uh, thing before so the problem is it's the link in the monster because in the id as i said it cannot be the same because it screws up the monsters and so somewhere we have a doubled name here we have the crap lancer 8 so row uh, 620 and let's search for another crap lancer which is on 726 and this should be renamed to crap lancer 9 and that's gonna solve our problem here and so the monster chain is not gonna screw it up so the monster we have created should now be a bear minion instead of a willow wisp 8 okay so uh this is pretty easy to solve this problem so let's go here hopefully we are not gonna meet up anymore with those burning souls because not everyone likes them so blood morgan and here we go here we have a world destroyer and as you can see it has demon stuns and as you could see um It works that's that's the point yeah so uh, we have no problem with it anymore where destroyer yeah sounds it's pretty neat I think oh 44% chance to hit nice and as you can see he's using the stun the smite thingy but also you can uh, replace any skill that this uh, monster has And as you could see, uh, up on death, they are um, releasing this uh, fiery stuff. See? That was the Mega Demons uh, on death particle. Alright, um, one thing. Let's switch the skill. Instead of smite, we did something else. Because I just want to show you that... Any skill should work if it's uh, not a regular melee skill, unlike uh, Smite. So here we have a Bail Noah. So Bail Noah, you know, is a thing that Bail uses, similar to Diablo's. Uh, we are gonna search for one more minion, and I think I'm gonna die. Let's see. And see, I'm dead. Because instant kill. <laughs> because the scale is just not scaled to my HP. So, yeah, this pretty much it about the monster editing guide. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm not, I did not use the missiles. But as I've said, I'm gonna make another monster later in the next episode. A ranged monster. That's gonna be also easy. So... It's not a big deal at all. Alright guys, so as being said, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching and see you later in the next monster editing video. Stay tuned and bye bye.